Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on winning the 120 kilometer race in Spain's International Endurance Championship, achieving a record time. His Majesty expressed pride in the landmark achievement, which builds on His Highness's accomplishments in international arenas. He praised His Highness's performance, which enabled him to win the race with merit, wishing him success to continue his achievements and honor Bahrain in upcoming championships. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, on the success of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in winning the 120 kilometer race of the Spanish International Endurance Championship. The Commander in Chief praised the honorable achievements resulting from His Majesty's continued encouragement and support to all the people of Bahrain and the attention His Majesty gives to all sports activities. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Bahrain Journalists Association President Isa Shaiji and board members marking their election unopposed. His Majesty hailed the BJA's president and board members' press competence, wishing them success in achieving the goals of the association and serving the press community in Bahrain. He hailed pivotal roles of the press in serving society, promoting national issues, issues and defending Bahrain's security, stability and interests, as well as highlighting the development strides. He commended the national press for its credibility, objectivity, professionalism and praised journalists' dedicated efforts to serve the nation and citizens. His Majesty lauded the outgoing BJA president and board members' efforts and dedication in serving the national press and journalists. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the President of the Bahraini Journalist Association, Isa Shaji, and the association's board members in recognition of their new appointments. His Royal Highness commended their journalistic knowledge and skills, which will further strengthen the association's efforts, benefiting the kingdom's development led by His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness wished them success in their new roles, noting that the national press is an integral part of Team Bahrain's success. He concluded by commending the efforts of the former board of directors of the Bahraini Journalists Association for their contributions to the development of journalism within the kingdom. The Bahrain Journalist Association announced the winning of Isa Shaiji in the election of the BJA unopposed. The BJA also announced the win of Abdurrahman al Midfa, Muhammad Bahar, Sara Najib, Yahya al Umari, Ahmed Karim, Jasim al Yusuf, Muhammad al Sa'i as board of director members. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a phone call from the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Dubai Ruler, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, on the winning of the 120-kilometer race in Spain's International Endurance Championship and the success of the royal team in winning the top three places in addition to the 160-kilometer and 100-kilometer races. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser on the landmark sporting achievement, which reflects his competence and performance in the endurance championships. He hailed the development of the endurance sport in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which yielded impressive achievements in international championships, praising the royal team strides led by His Highness Sheikh Nasser. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid's noble feelings, hailing the ruler of Dubai as an inspiring personality in the endurance sport. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, won the Spain International Endurance Championship for 120 kilometers, followed by Uthman Al Awadi in second place and Abdul Hamid Al Hashimi in third. His Highness took control of the race from its early stages, despite strong competition from Spanish and Uruguayan horsemen. He affirmed that the sport enjoys the support of His Majesty the King and praised the keen interest of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in the race, which contributed to the royal team's success, along with that of Isa Jamal as Sindi in the 100-kilometer race. His Highness said that the race went according to a well-thought-out plan, the courage of which finally determined the winner of the title. His Highness and the rest of the winners were crowned at the end of the race, which was attended by the kingdom's non-resident ambassador to Spain, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa.
الحمد لله على كل حال انجاز كبير وكملنا الفرحه وما خيبنا ظن من حط اماله وامنياته ان شاء الله ان ان احنا نتوفق فالله وفقنا والشكر والحمد له بشكل عام احنا دخلنا اليوم الصبح نلعب لعبتنا مو بلعبتهم لعبنا لعبه شجاعه تقدمنا في المراحل وكسرنا اليوم الريكورد فهذا يرويك ان عقبها السنين ذي كلها ما قد سووا السرعه اللي احنا سويناها بسبه الجراه اللي احنا اتخذناها من البدايه كلها متشابهه هذه فيها فرحه كبيره لان من زمان ما فزت الفوزه هذه منافسه شرسه من مع افضل فرسان العالم لكن يعني انا ما ادري شلون اوصف لك سعادتي والله واحنا يعني انت جيتني في وقت الحين حار ما اقدر اوصف لك لكن ما احنا عارفين المشاعر الله يسلمك ونبارك لك نبارك الناس كلها نبارك لسيدي جلاله الملك ونقول لك ان موسى الله يسلمك مبروك للملك مبروك للبحرين لا شك ان هذا انجاز كبير يحسب للفريق الملكي وبقياده صاحب السمو الشيخ ناصر لا شك ان اليوم النتيجه مشرفه لكل هالبحرين فوزنا بالمراكز الاولى الثلاثه بعد منافسه شديده طول اليوم وشفناها من الصباح ان كان الفريق الاسباني الفريق الفرنسي البنت من أورغوي فكانت منافسة كبيرة بين الفرسان والحمد لله توجه سمو الشيخ ناصر في النهاية بفوز الكبير لا شك أن هذا الفوز يعطي دفعة كبيرة للفرسان في مملكة البحرين للمزيد من الإنجازات إن شاء الله نعم الحمد لله شكرا الكريم على هذا الإنجاز إنجاز طيب لسمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد ولأفراد الفريق الملكي مثلين بالفارس رائد والفارس عثمان والفارس الهاشمي وعبد الله فبالتالي كل المراحل احنا فزنا فيها وكل المسابقات فزنا فيها المركز الاول فال الخير علينا وهذه الرياضه يوم تكون فوق يوم تكون تحت لكن احنا نكون لما تكون عندك روح الرياضيه مع مثل سمو الشيخ ناصر اعتقد انت انت بخسران هو القائد وهو اليوم اللي هو تسيد السباق من البدايه للنهايه ويستحق الفوز والناموس له وللفريق الملك وشكرا لكم جميعا. الحمد لله مثل ما شفتوا من المرحله الاولى ماشيين على خط سمو الشيخ ناصر وكنا كنا مجموعه واحده لما بدات الخيل تكسر 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 طلعنا لمرحله خيره طبعا الاول انطلق سمو الشيخ ناصر وانا ومحمد الهاشمي كانت معنا الفرس الرقوانيه بس الحمد لله مشينا بتكتيك سمو الشيخ ناصر بالحرف في المرحله اللي ما قدرنا ان نقطعها عنا نوصل خط النهايه بريحية تم تراك صعب تراك حق 120 و160 اصعب احنا امس جبنا الحمد لله اول ورابع اليوم اول ثاني ثالث طبعا هذا كله بفضل جلالة الملك ثم سمو الشيوخ أه واليوم الحمد لله بيضنا الوي سوينا اللي علينا مشينا على تكتيك سمو الشيخ ناصر والحمد لله The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of Bahrain Athletics Association and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the Bahrain delegation to the Tokyo Olympics for players along with administrative and technical staff. The virtual meeting was attended by the deputy chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, the chairman of the General Sports Authority and the president of the Bahrain Combat Sports Council, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the secretary general of the Olympic Committee, Mohammed al Nusuf, the President of the Handball Federation, Ali Ishaq, the President of the Athletics Federation, Mohammed Abdel Latif, the President of the Swimming Federation, Chancellor Dr. Mohammed Mijbil, and the Deputy Chairman of the Archery Federation, Sheikh Hamad bin Rashid. His Highness Sheikh Khalid affirmed the importance of representing the kingdom in the Tokyo and urged the participants to achieve the best possible results for the kingdom. During the meeting, His Highness Delegate, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali to head the Bahrain delegation to the Olympics and Mohammed Nusuf as his deputy. His Highness expresses confidence in their ability to lead to the delegation and in representing the kingdom in the best possible light. He also announced that Hassan al-Sayyid will carry the kingdom's flag in honor of his achievements with the handball team for which al-Sayyid expresses thanks and appreciation. His Highness then said that the Olympics will feature the kingdom's biggest delegation in its history and the biggest across the GCC countries, which reflects the progress in the field of sports.
He added that it is an honor for these players to represent the kingdom thanks to the efforts of the Olympic Committee and urged them to work hard to achieve the best possible results. His Highness affirmed the importance of observing all precautionary measures and looked forward to the achievements of Bahraini athletes. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali expressed his thanks and appreciation for His Highness Sheikh Khalid's confidence and vowed to work as hard as possible to represent the kingdom. He added that this represents an incentive to work harder, affirmed the importance of observing the precautionary measures and appreciated the efforts of Mohammed and Nusuf and the rest of the heads of the national federations. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed praised the support of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad for all national teams, especially combat sports, which ensured the qualification of the boxer Dennis Latibov to represent Bahrain at the Olympics for the very first time. He also praised the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali and Mohammed and Nusuf and wished the Bahrain delegation success. The National Financial and Administrative Audit Office has started the activities of the first training course within the capacity building and enhancing skills and expertise in the field of investigative auditing in cooperation with the international company Kroll. The chairman of the office, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, said that the bureau pays great attention to training as it is interested in informing its employees of the latest global developments and updates in the field of monitoring and auditing to ensure the implementation of work and tasks with high professionalism in order to achieve the desired goals. He added that the course that was held in the first of a series of training courses aimed to involve the largest possible number of employees and train them to implement this type of auditing according to international standards. The Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil Hamedan, affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain has made great strides in enhancing the safety and health of all workers through a series of legislations and measures it takes to develop occupational safety and health systems in order to create a safe work environment. He stressed that the ministerial decision on banning work during noon time is one of the decisions that are consistent with international labor standards in providing the necessary protection for workers. The minister held a field tour to a number of construction work sites to see the extent of the facility facilities commitment to implement the decision, praising the commitment of companies and institutions to implement the decision. He noted that the ministry has carried out about 3,350 inspection visits since the decision came into force and only 15 violations were detected. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayda Zayani, discussed with the British Minister of International Trade, Rana Leguardina, in London the frameworks of bilateral investment cooperation and new opportunities to expand the scope of the existing partnerships in order to serve the strategic and development visions of the two countries. He hailed the bilateral economic relations, which is a reflection of the size of the distinguished historical relations between the two countries. During the meeting, a number of issues of common interest and ways to develop the bilateral investment cooperation were discussed. The Real Estate Regulatory Authority and the Information and E-Government Authority launched the National Real Estate Data Bank project. The project is an agreement between the two parties to provide accurate, updated and reliable real estate information data and statistics which will contribute to providing a real estate investment environment that supports the national economy. The CEO of the RIRA, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, stressed the importance of the project and strengthening the position of the Kingdom of Bahrain as one of the most attractive centers of real estate in the region. The CEO of the Information and E-Government Authority, Mohammed Al-Qaid, indicated that the project will help make decisions related to buying, selling and investment. The Bahrain Institute for Political Development released a new book by researcher Dr. Latifa Dawadi entitled The Legal System for Reconsidering Draft Laws. It included a, compar a comparative study of the Bahraini constitutional system with the Kuwaiti and the Egyptian constitutional systems as well as comparing it with the French constitutional system. The importance of this book lies in the fact that it sets an overall conception of the legal system for reconsidering draft laws through a statement of its provisions, previous and preliminary procedures for its practices, procedures for its reviewing draft laws and their effects on them. 
The Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments announced that the following measures will apply for four days from Eid on July 19th. It also announced restricting the Eid prayer to Al-Fatih Mosque only, and only 30 individuals will be allowed to attend by invitation. The prayers of Arafah Day and the three days will take place inside mosques and not outside of them, with each being restricted to 30 worshippers at a time. The ministry said that these measures are being taken to observe the precautions measures and contain the new variants of the virus based on the recommendations of the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,091,685 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,026,749 had taken the second, and 97,532 had taken the booster dose. The ministry rewarded its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 998, with 116 recoveries, 105 registered new cases. 48 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 49 are contacts of active cases, and 8 are travel-related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.